M0FXB Ham Tech, welcome to my channel. You know me always tinkering. So, we've got the SDR connect here, or SDR control, connected via the WF View server on the X6100. I'll show you how to get to that. Just go system settings here. And this is with the latest firmware, it's about a year old. WF server. And it. You know, you stop and you start it, and there's the username and passwords that you do need to set. And by default, it's user and one, two, three. I haven't changed the ports. So you know it's running because you have the blue, the little blue logo there. So it says there, WF. Now, normally, you would need Wi Fi with this, okay? Uh, but notice that my Wi Fi is actually turned off. And that's because I found it quite unstable using Wi-Fi. So what you do is get yourself one of these. Now these are only about eight pounds. So it plugs into your the bottom port here. Have a look. So it's the host port. And you've got an adapter. So the one I've got is USB 2.0 to fast Ethernet. This is quite old, I've had it a few years. And then your Ethernet plugs in here, okay? And it starts to flash. And it definitely works, I've tested it before that it would work. Now, the nice thing is that once you're into this program, you have some extra functions. Now, of course, we get the, the nice waterfall. You can turn it round. And now this is the iPhone version. If you get the iPad version it's a lot better yeah so I recommend you think about that they're not cheap apps to get but once they do work you know they do work really well Let's just flip it round and if you've got a smaller iPad like an iPad mini I think it would actually probably work better so here's the let's just go down now controlling the you can see it's working yeah just slide that back and forth. See if I can get my Zygu a bit higher. Like so. Yeah, actually that's looking really good. Really enjoying this. And you have to say thank you to Marcus for the developer of the app. Um, but like I said, there is a charge, you know, it's not free. Uh, so sorry that focus isn't perfect. It's quite always hard to focus on um, on a screen, unfortunately. So let's just now that we've got a more stable connection, let's just see if we can tap VFO down here and tap the waterfall by the looks of it. You can see the frequency. You've got many adjustments. The tuner does work. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, stations. <laughs> Many of the functions do work. Earlier on when I tested it, I couldn't get FT8 to actually receive anything. I'm not saying it will now, but we've definitely got a more stable connection with the Ethernet. We'll go to the modes here. And as soon as I select modes, it's going to change us to FT8 frequency. So watch this. So it took us straight there. So you do have, you know, cat control, rig control. Now, before I left it for a while and we didn't get any, you know, any messages coming through. My battery is quite low on my iPad. It's a very old iPad. So we'll just wait a couple of minutes, see if we do. We've got TX here. There you are. So I've not really used it, so I'm sorry that if I'm not, you know, I'm not very good at this. There you go. It starts to CQ. You see the TX. The problem we've got though is, we, I don't really know if we're receiving anything. We've got the timer at the top. It has put us straight into U Digital. So if we were receiving there, I mean, there might be settings that we need to go into. But you know, you let me know what you think, you know. So it's obviously TX and we'll stop that for now. 
we've already selected receives. When you deselect receive, and also if we go here, look, if we disconnect from it, so you tap like that, you disconnect. Then we go to back to the mode button. Look, you've got CW. And tap to start. Yeah, and it takes us to CW. You need to go to here some CW. The amount of people that don't want this so big, they want a bigger waterfall and then make this a lot smaller. I mean, I think Zygu should listen and do that. So I don't feel that's working at the moment. Settings there. Maybe there are settings you can change. If we just go back, come out of that now. Just go back to normal vfo i mean the, the the part i like the best is just and, uh, we'll see if I can, uh, with the waterfall just hit the ipad now i'm sure that yesterday when i did this we were getting audio out of the ipad but today it's like we're not but i'm sure i heard it yesterday Volume is up though, and it's you know, we're not getting it, but the waterfall looks great. Look at that, it looks fantastic. And if you had the iPad version, I think it'd be even better. What's that do? Speed, speed span, show TX. Yeah, cool. I mean, it is it's a very good app, you know, there's no doubt about the app being good. 705 VFO, mic, box, tune. And yes, it does PTT, you know, just press briefly. It does, yeah. So ho hopefully, what I'm really saying is that if you use an Ethernet connector, Ethernet adapter, it will show up in your network search. So it's 192. I'll just show you the, uh, see if I can disconnect and connect back in. Disconnect. Is it gonna let me go back one? Right, and then what you do, you tap the screen and I'll show you my settings. So if I tap the one, see it's 107 there, that's the wired one, edit. And you'll see that in the settings, oh, I've got that annoying wire in the way, let's just move that, finish playing really. Um, on your device, IP address that you find in your network search, I gave it that title, the port is 5001. Maybe changing the port would make the, the, the FT8 work, I don't know. Username and then password is default one two three and you can actually tell it to auto connect You know, but I tend not to do that because my IP address has changed because if I try and connect with anything else It's not going to connect but this one watch Oh, I've taken the Ethernet out. Let's plug that in It's the bottom the bottom USB There you are. It knew straight away that I put the, the Wi-Fi back in. Let's try again. You don't get a Wi-Fi symbol on your actual radio when it's a wired connection. You do get flashing, the little item flatting, flashing, <laughs> flashing away. All right, we'll try one more time. And the battery is very low. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.